Amitabh Bakchan, the iconic Bollywood superstar, started making waves in the 1970s. He is by far one of the most decorated and most awarded Indian actors of all time. He was once dubbed the greatest actor of the century, with a career in the movie industry that has spanned over five decades, with numerous awards to show for it, including 16 Filmfare Awards, four National Film Awards, honorary awards from the, both the governments of India and France, and many others. But as with any other story of the rise to fame, Amitabh's journey was far from smooth. He has lived a life marked by both triumph and tribulation. Amitabh was born in Allahabad, now called Prayagraj, on October 11, 1942. His father, Harivansh Rai Bakchan, was a well-known Hindi poet, while his mother, Teji Bakchan, was a social activist. Growing up, Amitabh struggled to find his place in the world and was often bullied in school. Amitabh debuted as a voice narrator in the film Bhuvan Shoma and then went on to star in his very first role as one of the seven protagonists in the movie, Sat Hindustani, a production that didn't do very well. This marked a series of flops that Amitabh encountered on his journey to fame. He became known as a failed newcomer who only had two successful movies to his name despite being in numerous productions. He was often rejected by directors for being too tall and having a voice too deep to fit what they envisioned. It was later noted that his failures were not due to his inability to act, but that the movies he appeared in didn't do so well generally. Amitabh's first big break came with the film Zanjir in 1973. The producers of the movies had other actors in mind who rejected the role because it did not fit the romantic boy aura that was prominent in those times. The movie was a crime film and needed someone angry and intimidating to play it, and, as luck will have it, Amitabh needed the break. His qualities that were once rejected came into play here. The movie was a success and put Amitabh back on the map. He became known as the action man in most movies and acted in a string of action movies thereafter. Amitabh enjoyed a wave of success until a near-fatal accident during a stunt for the movie Cooley in 1982 slowed down the trajectory of his life. Already a superstar to the world, people joined hands and prayed for his speedy recovery. The accident threatened his career and also his finances. His recovery was long and intense. Misfortune had it in for Amitabh as he was yet again faced with another health challenge. He was diagnosed with a disease that weakens both the body and mind, myasthenia gravises. He became depressed and overly pessimistic about his movies, often stating that this too will flop. He took a brief hiatus from acting and went into politics. Amitabh ran into some serious financial troubles in the 90s. He set up his own production company called the Amitabh Bakchan Corporation, Litted, ABCL, which offered services such as film production, event management, and distribution. It was a profitable venture in the beginning, but quickly ran into debt amidst significant failures and had to file for bankruptcy. Amitabh became so broke that he often borrowed money from his staff just to put food on the table and there were nights when he wasn't sure of getting any dinner. His son had to leave college to come stay by his side as things became tough. The saying, nothing lasts forever, came true for Amitabh, as the bad times met a silver lining in the form of an acting role in Yash Chopra's Mohabbatain. The film reinstated Amitabh as a versatile actor and also took care of his debts. Amitabh saw an upward movement in his career from then on, as his position as a cultural icon was further cemented when he hosted the television game show Kaun Banega Kroripati, the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? From 2000 to 2006, it became one of the top TV programs in India. Amitabh's legacy extends beyond his impressive filmography. He has used his platform to advocate for social causes, including education and health care. He has also been a vocal advocate for the rights of actors and workers in the film industry. 
His journey serves as an inspiration to us all, reminding us that we can overcome even the greatest challenges and achieve our dreams.